Hi everyone, it's Zinnia here. Today I wanted to show you how to make an inventory in Scratch. If you have a game or a project where the character can collect items of some kind, you might want a way to keep track of all those items. And by the end of this tutorial, you will be able to do that. Let's get started. So for this project, I started out with the code that I made in my video, how to make collectible items in Scratch. I definitely recommend watching that video because it'll show you how all of this code works. But the basic idea is that we have a main character who, with this code, can move around with the arrow keys. And we have an item that, when the green flag is clicked, goes to a random position and waits until the main character runs into it. And then it plays a sound and disappears. So now let me show you how to make an inventory. We can make a list, and that will be a list of all of the objects our character has collected. To make a list in Scratch, you can click on the variables category and scroll down to where it says make a list. And we can call this list inventory and create it. And now we have a list over here. And these new blocks appear that allow us to add things or remove things from this list. So you can add something to the list with this block that says add thing to inventory, and that will add whatever you have in here to the inventory. So we could say add star to inventory, and then that adds it. Now you can also remove things from the list. So with this block, you can delete something that's at a certain number in the inventory. So if I said delete two of inventory, the second thing is star. So if I click on this block, it deletes the second thing. And similarly, if I type in one, this deletes the item one in the inventory. And if we take this block, add star to inventory and put it here when the star gets collected. Let's try that out. So the character runs into the star and collects it and it goes into the inventory. Oh, and also when I restart the game and collect the star again, it adds it to the inventory again. But actually, there's this block, delete all of inventory. Let's make it delete all of the inventory when the game starts. So every time we start the game, our inventory starts out as empty. Now, let me show you how to spend an item from your inventory. So to do that, let's add another item to collect. Maybe this time I'll add the apple and I'll make the apple a bit smaller, maybe 60%. So that makes it pretty close in size to the star. And I'll also add a character and this character will ask the player to give them an apple. So maybe I'll add Giga and Giga, I'll also make Giga smaller. So maybe 70%, that's pretty good. So let's make the apple collectible the same way the star is. And we can do that by going to the star and just taking this code that allows the star to be collected as an item and just drag it to the apple, wait till the apple wiggles, and then it, we can give it the code. Now, the only difference here is because it's an apple, we can add apple to the inventory instead of star. So let's try that out. So I can go over and collect the apple. Oh, one thing is it didn't play a sound and that's because the apple doesn't have the collect sound. It has this chomp sound. So you could have it play that or you could pick a sound. I'm a fan of the coin sound, so you could add that. 
and go back to the code tab and choose coin from the menu. And now you can collect the apple and it plays this coin sound. Now let's make Giga ask the player for an apple. We can make it so that when Giga is clicked, they say, I want to eat an apple. And if the player has an apple in their inventory, then we want to give that apple to Giga, basically take it out of the player's inventory. So how can we check if the player has an apple? Well, if you go to the variables category and scroll down to the lists blocks, there's this block where you can check if an inventory contains a certain thing. So I can type in apple and it says true because yes, our inventory right now contains an apple. If we had deleted all of the inventory and we asked, does inventory contain apple? It would say false because there's no apple in our inventory. So this block can tell us if a certain thing is in the inventory. And we can use an if block, which can let us do a certain thing only if the thing that's in here is true. So this next piece of code will only happen if the inventory has an apple. So if the inventory has an apple, then we want to give that apple to Giga. So first we could make Giga say something like, yum. So let's test if that's working. So, okay, I am walking over to the apple. I pick it up and I click on Giga. Giga says, I want to eat an apple. Yum. Okay, because my inventory contained an apple. Now, here's the thing. I still have the apple in my inventory and we should remove it from the inventory because I've now just given it to Giga. So, let's see. How do you delete something from an inventory? Well, in the variables category, in, in the list blocks, you could delete all of the inventory, which isn't what we want to do. Or there's this block that lets you just delete a certain numbered item from the inventory. So we can try this out. Right now, the apple is at one in the inventory. So let's try that, putting that there. So if I get an apple, I can click on Giga, Giga eats the apple, and it's removed from the inventory, so that's good. But let me show you why this doesn't completely work. Let's say the star is item one in my inventory. Then Giga is still going to delete item one and is just going to delete the star when the apple is what should be taken. So you can see item one is what gets deleted, which is the star. So we don't just always want to delete item one. We want to delete whatever number the apple is at. How can we figure that out? Well, there's this block, item number of thing in inventory. And if you drag that out, you can type in the name of something that might be in the inventory, and it will tell you what number it's at. So for example, if the apple was at number two in the inventory, then this would say number two. It'll always tell you what the number is of apple in the inventory. And since this block can delete a certain numbered thing from the inventory, we can put this in here. And now this block will figure out what's the item number of apple in the inventory right now. And then it will delete whatever that item number is. So let's try it out now. Giga says, I want to eat an apple, yum, and then deletes apple. And we'll always delete the item number of apple in the inventory. So that's how you can remove something from the inventory and like give it to another character. Anyway, that's what I wanted to show you today. I hope you have fun adding inventories to your games. Also, this starter code will be in the description below. So you can always remix that. Um, yeah, I'll see you next time and scratch on.